My name is Chuck Herpick. I'm, uh, I grew up in Alhambra and Monterey Park. However, my parents uh, loved the beach and they started taking me to the beach when I was, before I can remember actually, the only thing I really remember was taking naps underneath the umbrella and I can see still to this day see the colors of that umbrella. So I go way back as far as being a beach person and love and love for the beach. And so we ended up in Laguna Beach. My parents had a house they rented down there since probably 1940 or 41, somewhere in that period. And we would commute from Monterey Park down Lakewood Boulevard, hit the circle at Long Beach and head south to Laguna. And my brother and I sitting in the back seat of a of a Model A Ford, which it had a rumble seat, so we're open to the air. Going by Tin Can Beach through the oil wells of Huntington Beach and down into beautiful Laguna Beach. Started going to the beach, uh, hanging out in Laguna Beach uh, at the main beach, and of course grew up watching the lifeguards on the beach and being taught how to swim and how to surf or body surf and how to handle myself in the water at a very, very young age. And then in Laguna in those days, we didn't have trials for becoming a lifeguard. They just take us, the kids off the beach who were um, acclimated to the water and who could swim and who could handle themselves real well in the water and they'd say hey do you want to be a lifeguard and and we'd say sure because we've been looking up at these guys they were our heroes all the all the years of our life and uh, so we'd be looking up to these guys and now we could finally be one and so <laughs> they'd pull us off the beach give us a a little training in what they called uh, artificial respiration, which is now CPR in a different version, but they'd give us the training. We'd get a pair of swim fins that we'd have to buy ourselves and they'd give us a lifeguard, pair of lifeguard shorts and, and that was it and put us in the towers and that's, that's what we did. This was in the 50s. I lifeguarded, by the way, from 1953 through 1957 uh, in the summer times and all vacations. And when I'd come home from, I was going to Stanford University at the time, and I'd come home and lifeguard on our vacations. So, up at the main beach, sitting on the lifeguard tower, we used to have a deck out in front of that main beach lifeguard tower. They since taken it down, but. Uh, Right around 5.30, we quit at six. Right around 5.30, this was another red flag day. Really, really dangerous, big waves. I caught this glimpse of this lady uh, caught out there in the middle of this, these big waves and I grabbed my fins and went running up the beach and right behind me was Phil Jones, he grabbed his his fins and he was behind me and we went in the water, threw on the fins, went out in the water and I, I grabbed a hold of this lady and a wave hit us and it knocked her loose and we had to hunt for her and we finally got with her again and uh, we pulled her in and we gave her a little bit of, uh, of uh, artificial respiration, like I said we called it got a little water out of her. She had taken in some water and she was okay. Well, as I told you, nobody ever thanked us for what we did. But the next day um, in the guard tower, somebody had come by and dropped off two envelopes and in each one of the envelopes was a <laughs> $20 bill. <laughs> and so, I recognize, you know, I didn't know, well, she just said thank you and said her name, so-and-so, and, -so, and uh, so about, oh, later on that summer, my parents took us up to where Las Brisas is. Right now it was, it was called, um, oh, I forget what it was called, another restaurant, and she was a 
waitress up there and we're sitting there having dinner and the next thing I know there's a bottle of wine set down on our table and it was from her. She just couldn't stop thanking us for this. But anyway, that was a that was another experience I had. Nowadays though you have to qualify and they and, but it, the lifeguarding is the same. Like you're, you're, you're there, you're on the beach, you're paying attention, uh, and you, uh, you're keeping people safe.